And this is just a piece of wood, isn't it? You don't see any, and I'll be honest with me, you can't see any animal in here, can you? Now, if I would say, Wah! Well, I'm Eugene Hegedish, and make buffaloes, and uh, rhinos, penguins. In other words, uh, I have what you would call a wood zoo. I came to the United States, uh, well, almost exactly 50 years ago, as a 17-year-old uh, high school student from a little village of Hungary. I did become a teacher of mathematics at Carlos Sanchez School. Tons and tons of the world's problem could be solved by uh, an educated uh, population in a world, whether it's uh, here in America or uh, the other end of the world, education to me is one of the most important, uh, most important thing. I make most of the animals that I make are buffaloes. And uh, I make buffalo simply because uh, I live in a city of Buffalo and uh, uh, I think they're cute, they're brutal, they're honest, they have substance. And if I want to give a gift to someone, I'm from Buffalo, and here's a gift from Buffalo. Now, when it comes to art, I am not an artist. Um, I'm not even a good craftsman, uh, but I have a passion. I have a passion for getting my ideas across to anybody who is willing to listen. And this is just a piece of wood, isn't it? You don't see any, and I'll be honest with me, you can't see any animal in here, can you? Now, if I would say, Wah! all I have to do is make a face of a lion in here, and this is a male lion. The mane is already here. But I cannot explain what I have or what makes me see certain things. Uh, but when I do see something in it, I want to simplify it in a way that not only I, but anybody else who cares to look will have a chance to say, oh, I see what he saw in it. Now, let me talk about this big one first. To me, this is going to be a rhino. You can see the horn in here. All I have to do is to shape this part and I already have one which is sort of shaped like, almost ready to be a rhino, if I can find it somewhere in this mess. See now, this looks a little more like a rhino. In every piece of wood, to me it's not a piece of firewood. Um, can you see a buffalo in here? It does have the bending already, the body of the buffalo. I have to cut the head in here and uh, just add legs. I've given a buffalo to uh, Maestra Faleda, uh, Skitch Henderson. I mailed one to uh, uh, President Bush. I didn't necessarily say I'm a Republican, but I figured the man deserves at least one strong uh, supporter. Um, and I did, get, I, I did get a very nice thank you note from him, and uh, Byron Brown has a buffalo, which I know it's displayed in his uh, chambers. So the final details, now this buffalo has been cut outside with a chainsaw. I brought it in and with the bandsaw, I cut the head. Final thing that I have to do in here is with this little tool, I'm just gonna Smoothen the edges.
it's no longer no longer uh, as rough I work the edges in here so it looks as smooth as uh, the buffalo's head make the corners in here and now you have a lip for the buffalo that that is always that and uh, I firmly believe that uh, if you have an active mind, um, you're going to be somebody, you're going to be doing something, and you're not going to get old before uh, your time. You have a vivid imagination, and um, you can see things which are not even there. But of course, when an outline is uh, presented for you, and that's, that's basically one thing, I, I cannot draw the animal that I, I crafted or, or, or sculpted. Um, I, I can't. I don't have that ability, but I can pick up a, a, a pocket knife and carve something from a soft wood, or use um, uh, some power tools and, and and come up with the animals. And uh, I have yet to have any of my animals misidentified. Okay, my grandchildren say, "Papa, that's a nice cow." Sure, you cow. Presenting a piece of wood which. I know it's not just a piece of wood, it's, it's, it's an animal, it's something alive. It will get people talking, and that in itself is an education.